Hi, I'm Debbie Wong. I'm an application instructor with New Horizons. I'm here to share a tip with you to help you work more efficiently in Microsoft Access. Most people, when they do data validation in a form, will go to their property sheet data tab and they'll use validation rule and validation text. However, if you go to event and create a macro, you have more options available to your data validation and you can make your validation more robust. We're going to use for our example today a cabin rental business and we have a form already created. This form is for when we add a new cabin into our list of cabins that we're renting. We put in all the information, the rate that it's going to cost, the address, as well as a description of the cabin. We want to ensure that anybody who's entering in a new cabin will include a complete description. That's the data validation we're going to add. I'm going to the design view of my form and I'm going to my CB description field. That's the cabin description. I'm going to turn on my property sheet. I'm going to my design tab, my tools group, and I'm choosing property sheet. I'm going to my event tab in the property sheet. The event I'm going to trigger this macro on is called before update. This occurs before changed data in a control or record is updated. And that's when I want to capture it and say, hey, you need to enter in a description. When I go to the before update event on the right hand side, you'll see three little dots and it'll give me a choice of which builder I want. I want a macro builder. You can see very clearly in my macro builder that I'm using CB description field and it's when the event before update happens. The action I'm going to choose, the if statement. I'm going to confirm that the length is greater than 10 and then they can go on and will accept that description. In the if statement on the far right is the expression builder icon. It's a little person coming out of a manhole. I'm going to click on that. I'm choosing to open up my functions, built-in functions. I have an entire list of all built-in functions available to me, but if I go into my categories, I can narrow it down to just text functions. I'm looking for the length function that'll determine the length of a string. It's called len. I'm double clicking and it puts it in my expression builder. I'm going to replace the string with the CB description so that I have the information the user entered into that field. I'm going to form cabins in my expression elements and I'm going to scroll down in my categories and find the CB description field and double click on it. Now my expression is the length of what they typed in CB description. If it's less than or equal to 10, I'm going to communicate to them, you need to make it longer. <laughs> Go ahead and I say, okay. How I'm gonna tell them that is through a message box. The next action I'm choosing is message box. Here is the message. Must enter at least 10 characters in the description. Let's also give it a title, description required. The other action I'm going to choose is cancel the event. I'm canceling the description they put in so that they can fix it. I'm going to go to my design tab, close group, and save this macro. Then I'm going to close it. I'm going to put my form in form view to test my macro. I'm going to create a brand new record Let's call this cabin Debbie's cabin. I'm going to put in a very short description. Two bedrooms, not more than 10 characters. And so I get my message box saying, you must enter at least 10 characters in the description. OK. Now my description is more than 10 characters, and it has received my description. You can create that data validation using a macro. In the Microsoft Access 365 Part 2 course, you will learn 
improving table usability, creating advanced queries, improving form presentation, creating advanced reports, importing and exporting table data, using queries to manage data, creating complex reports and forms, creating access macros, using VBA to extend database capabilities, managing a database, distributing and securing a database. Today's tip was from New Horizons Microsoft Access Part 2 course. If you found today's tip useful and would like to see more, click on the like button below and subscribe. If you're interested in taking this course, click on the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you in class.